Kerry King to play Slayer covers with his solo band live, but only the ones he wrote. So nobody can say he's playing Jeff Hanneman songs, which if you ask me, I think that's kind of dummy. <laughs> What's up dudes, they're Agitato doing another little news vid and got some weird going on here with Kerry King where he's gonna do some Slayer covers but only ones that he wrote because he doesn't want people to think he's like ripping off Jeff Hanneman or something like he didn't play with them for like a hundred years so that makes absolutely no sense. Let's get into what it says dude. Article goes on to say Kerry King and his solo band will make their debut in Europe this June and it seems he's got some Slayer covers planned but it's only gonna be the songs he had a hand in writing so no Jeff Hanneman stuff I guess. I don't know, we'll see what it says. It goes on to say in a recent Q&A as captured by Metal Hammer, King said he's not interested in playing any material written exclusively by Jeff Hanneman, so fans don't think he's cashing in on Slayer's legacy, which is weird because he's pretty much Slayer. Though he does note that Angel of Death, a Hanneman track at some point. So I guess he says, for this coming summer in Europe, we're gonna do like 9 or 10 tracks from the album, and depending on set length, fill it with stuff I've done, something I've wrote in Slayer, or co-wrote he explained. So nobody can say he's playing Jeff songs because although I love Jeff songs and he was such a big part of my life I don't want to rely on it this year in this album cycle. What is he talking about? I mean, why would you not play songs that have deaths? Just crazy to me. At some point, I will play Angel of Death, but there's so many f***ing faceless haters on the internet I don't want to give them ammunition. Man, them haters, dude. Just play what you're gonna play. That makes absolutely no sense to me. This dude's out his mind. He's got like half a Slayer already in his band, dude. Just play the songs. I don't think Jeff and his legacy and his, his estate, I don't think they're gonna mind. Just play the songs, dude. King also answered, if anyone in his band, Angel of Death vocalist, Mark, oh, as great a, I don't know, I could probably butcher the out of that. Former Slayer drummer Paul Bostaff, exactly what I'm saying. Former violence and machine guitarist, Phil Demmel, which come on, I do rips, man. And former Hell Yeah bassist, Kyle Sanders, not Bob Zilla, but that's alright, would get to cover their own band songs. Long story short, not entirely out of the question. It shouldn't be a question to begin with. Why is Kerry King worrying about haters on the internet? Who cares? You just don't read it and you move on. That makes no sense to me, dude. So it wraps up saying, we've spoken about covers. We probably won't be doing them in June and July, but the format for covers in my band is music from bands that don't exist anymore. Say for instance, Ace of Spades. I want to cover bands that don't play those songs anymore. Like Iron Maiden don't play the first two albums. Stuff like that, which is meaningful and my band could go out and kick the shit out of it. I respect that. That's pretty cool. I want to see him jam that stuff. I wonder if he would jam any of the dime stuff. That would be a trip, man. So basically to wrap it up, Kerry King's just acting weird for some reason and he's letting people get in his head. You should just rip whatever song he wants to rip on. Still makes no sense to me, but whatever. I'm not in that band. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching these videos. Keep a lookout for these little cartoon riffs that I'm doing. Trying to get it going. Make it freaking right. And keep an eye out for some more news videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next round and remember to stay metal. Late.